Hi, my name is Markus Zaplatnik. In this video, we'd like to show you how to use online update to download and distribute new versions of Marvel Client. All of this can be done directly from your config database. As any update can contain changes that might break your current configuration, it is highly recommended to perform this in a test environment first. Let's see how it works. Here we are in the config database. You can find the online update under administration online update. Before we go into details, however, we have to take one additional step. Open your config and analyze databases in the designer and check the agents. Here we are in the analyze database. We have two scattered agents. Here we are in the config database where we have one scheduled agent. Open the agent and write down all the settings under basics, including the schedule and the security settings as well. Do the same for all enabled agents. In our case, we have three. We will need this information later, so please keep it. Now we close the designer and go back to the online update form. Let's take a quick tour through this form. First, we have the license key. This key is provided to you by Pen Agenda when you buy the product or get your trial version. Once you've entered that, you don't need to change it. Next, the update type. Update this database is here almost always the correct option. The other options are only to be used when instructed as such by Pen Agenda support. The update directory is just a local directory that stores temporary files with download. The default is usually a good choice. Below the update button, we have a few additional options. The internet connection options are usually set to very good defaults, but if you run into trouble with proxies or firewalls, you might change them to find a way around them. The template update options, these are about the downloaded templates. The first option is to sign them with the current ID, which I have enabled. This is to prevent the template development slash pen agenda ID from getting into your system. And the second one is auto update. This means that my databases will automatically get a design refresh with the new templates. Next is the auto update. This means that the new templates will be pushed into your databases with a design refresh. Lastly, we have the paths to the other databases. Here we have two analyze databases I want to update and the help database. Now that we've checked the settings and are sure that they are set correctly, please read our license agreement and confirm that you have done so. Now we press the button. Now Marvel Client will perform a health check of the databases of the config analyze and help database to find out which version they are right now. It will contact the online update server to find out whether there are new downloads available and then it will download them. Now you can see that Marvel Client online update is doing the design refresh. First it will sign all the templates and then refresh the design of the databases. This is the last step of online update after it's finished with signing and updating the config database, which is happening right now. We're done. Now we're going to check the help database to review any new release nodes. Open your help database. Here you find all the release nodes. Please go through them carefully. They contain much information that is very important. After reviewing all the release nodes, you switch back to the config database where we will enable the downloaded binaries. When prompted, say yes, you want to save the changes. First, let's have a look at license files. We have an updated license, but no new one, so we don't need to do anything. It's still enabled. Let's go to the DLL updates. Here we find one new DLL, 4517. This one we want to use, so we're going to categorize it.
and then switch it out with 4020, which is the one that is currently in operation. Just select both of them, press and disable, and the new DLL is enabled. On next client start, Panagena Marvel client will download this new DLL and apply it. So in short order, all your clients will run on this new version. You perform then the same steps for a new plugin version that you might want to roll out. In this case, 252. We categorize it. And again, switch it out with the currently used version. Categorizing of plugins and DLRs is not strictly necessary. It's just nice to keep a clean and tidy config database. Now that we're done with the binaries, we still have to perform two final steps. First, we have to check the design to compare our written down agent settings with the ones that are currently active. We open our config and analyze databases in the designer. Go to the agents and compare the settings that we have with the ones that we've written down. As you can see, the settings are unchanged in this case, but they might be different. Do the same for all the other agents. We had one in the config. There are two more in the NLS database. After you've done this, close the designer and switch to the administrator client. We will now use the administrator client to sign our databases with the server ID. You can also use it to sign it with a template or development ID. Go to sign, sign it with the server ID, and we're done. In this video, we've shown you how to use online update to download and distribute the latest version of the templates and any binaries. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.